All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS reInvent, and I have Kyle with me from Clake. Uh, Kyle, welcome to the Robert Show. It's nice your welcome. debut. I'm excited to chat about various things about AI, data quality, data governance, data products, and much more. But just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at uh, Click. Sure. Yeah. So I, I help run our AI practice uh, here at Click, and and that means I, I get the fortune of working with our AI teams and development and the design, and the research, understanding what we're building, but then taking those products into the field yep. and helping customers find actual solutions using those products. Which to me is the exciting part, right? Is putting the products to use and, and seeing people use them. So. Exactly. I think implementation is one of the biggest uh, you know play in in the business that yeah. we are in the data and AI world, so that's something pretty exciting. Uh, so I'm kind of wanting to learn more about it, but just uh, you know, just to let you know, I was uh, two weeks back, I was at AI Reality Tour that happened in my home uh, city, Mumbai, yeah. and I hosted uh, Mike, and he mentioned about how the region is growing very quickly. Yeah, very. Uh, we've seen India being, uh, like obviously for Click, it has been one of the top notch uh, places as well. Uh, what do you think about that region? How are you seeing that traction? Yeah, I mean, when we open a new cloud region at Click, that means there's a lot of traction going on right. there, and there's a lot of business happening, and we've seen a huge growth in Asia Pacific more generally, right? But uh, especially in the India region where it's worth our efforts now to, to bring a dedicated cloud with all the, the new AI and generative AI capabilities that we have to offer yeah. there, so it's yeah. exciting. It's exciting time for sure. Um, I'm also kind of curious because you mentioned about you know implementation, and Gen AI has been one of the topics which is such a huge topic. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even enterprise leaders that I talk to, uh, they are like, we don't know where to start from, yeah. or if we have started, are we really doing it? Yeah. Uh, the scalability, cost, everything that kind of comes into the play. How is Click kind of, you know, looking at Gen AI, how are you all helping the customers get to the next level? And how is it more approachable for them? Yeah, so we, we kind of took a step back uh, and thought, you know, how do we actually make Gen AI approachable for the enterprise? Because everyone's saying that they're doing AI these days, right? Right. But who's actually doing it, and who's doing it in a way that it makes the enterprise comfortable with deploying these generative AI solutions? Because we all know the, the problems at this point that we've seen in, in certain AI products around hallucinations and knowledge cutoff. Yeah. And so we've looked for a solution, and, and we made a big acquisition earlier this year of a company called Kindy, uh, which helped us accelerate our Gen AI product development, and we have a product in market now called Click Answers. Nice. Uh, and that's a retrieval augmented generation product where mm. we can help the enterprise be able to limit the scope of what these assistants are answering questions about and making sure that they're only using trusted knowledge sources to answer yeah. those questions. So they're not using their untrusted general knowledge, which obviously can lead a lot to the issues that we've seen with generative AI in the space. Yeah, I know, 100%. That's like a huge acquisition, definitely, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And it helps like a lot of enterprise leaders out there uh, to you know solve that problem of hallucination, which has been obviously yeah. a big problem in the AI space. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about you know uh, the governance space, right? Yeah. The data governance kind of also plays a very important role when you're kind of talking about uh, AI, also the data quality. How are you kind of uh, looking at that, and what is the? How are you kind of solving that puzzle? Yeah, sure. So you know, obviously, garbage in, garbage out, right? It's sure. it's the phrase we've heard in the data space for decades, right. and it still applies to AI. So you know, uh, if you're putting bad information in, you're going to get bad answers and information out. And exactly. so, uh, fortunately, another acquisition we've made, you know, over the past year or two, is a company called Talent, which has allowed us to bring in a lot of the data quality and data governance products right. that make it really easy to not only move your data from your source systems into your production data warehouses and data lakes, but now you can also add the layer of governance and security and build what we call data products um, cool. to yeah. make accessible to the business so that they're using that trusted data uh, to be able to build their Gen AI foundations. That's that's really good, and I've been, you know, obviously I've seen uh, talent as well yeah. before it was acquired, and I yeah. was, I've seen the great work that they've done. But after you know, obviously getting acquired by Click, we're seeing that boom in that yeah. you know the customers are super happy. I've been you know obviously had enterprise leaders right. who've been using Click uh, talent as well. Yep. So which is fantastic. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little about uh, the challenges, right? Yep. I, I'm pretty sure you talk to. Uh, a lot of customers out there. What are the current challenges that they see in this space and how are you solving that for the larger enterprise customers? Yeah, so obviously we talked about the challenges around hallucination and, yes. tr and trust in the results. Yep. We're also seeing this interesting uh, concept where a rising AI tide is lifting all AI boats, right? And we're getting a lot of people who come to us and say, hey, I have this generative AI problem 
and it turns out that that problem is actually just a traditional predictive analytics problem, right? Exactly. Traditional machine learning. And fortunately, we have a predictive analytics software as well called Click Auto ML, uh, which helps build no-code machine learning nice. models, right? Yep. Uh, and so that's an exciting opportunity to be able to help people understand what the right AI to use in the right scenarios is yeah. uh, to actually get meaningful business value and solve the, the problems that they're trying to solve. Right? Mm, that's something which is pretty interesting for yeah. you know the larger audience out there in yeah. terms of you know thinking about traditional analytics yeah. and how they can solve those problems. So it becomes like an interesting story there. Thanks for sharing that, Kyle. Uh, also one quick question, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want to you know, reach out to you, learn more about the different sure. things, the different projects that you're working on. Yep. But before that, um, what's, how do you see the future of Gen AI? Yeah, so we talked about governance, we've talked about data quality. Uh, really the future from our perspective is agentic, right? So how do we take these really cool tools around LLMs and find ways to integrate them into the business systems where people are actually taking actions every day, right? Yep. And so the evolution of Click Answers and the Click products that we're working in the Gen AI space will very much be agentic workflows where we can find ways to allow the user to start to interact with business systems cool. in those assistant conversations that they're happening. So not only are they getting knowledge, but they're taking action on it and, and making business impact. And right? it looks like Click has been doing that for over the years, yeah. right? It's, uh, it's the term which has kind of evolved, but then I, I feel like I was talking to Mike as well, and it felt like, yeah, Click has been doing agent AI since a while, yeah. and uh, looks like uh, the customers are going to be super happy as well, and uh, it's it's uh, it's a great space to be in, uh, for sure. So, the question that obviously I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, folks would also have is, where can they find you, where can they connect with you, yeah. is LinkedIn a better place, Twitter, where are you most active yeah. on? I'm, I'm on LinkedIn, so come find me on LinkedIn. I'm always happy to have a conversation around Amazing. analytics, AI, data quality, all those kind of things. And then you might see me at an event around the world. I'm always popping up at these uh, <laughs> these type of events, and I love interacting with customers, partners, and, and the people who are using our software because that's how we build better products, is to understand how people are using them and what they need our help on. So We love it. Yeah. Thanks for sharing all those details. Yeah, thanks, thanks for sharing for all me. the great insights. Uh, Kyle, such a pleasure hosting you on The Robert Show. We'll keep the conversation going. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us.